Calvin's coming in. He wants to know if his PC is pulling 700 watts from the wall. Is his 850G3 enough? Oh, sure, plenty. Because the power efficiency loss is internal, not from the wall. If you're pulling 750, if you're pulling 700 watts from the wall, he's got a G3, so it's an 80 plus gold. Okay, quick power supply lesson, everybody. 80 plus bronze simply means that it should be roughly 80, 85% power efficient, but only in the middle band curve. 80 plus gold should be 88%, 87, 88% power efficient, maybe 90%. I might have those crossed. Whatever. For the sake of discussion, let's say your power supply is 90% efficient. Everyone's going to be a little bit different anyway. Correct. And there's a band curve. Yes. On the top 10 20% and the bottom 20%, they're less efficient. It's the middle of the curve. So if he's pulling 700 watts, he's probably he's probably not 90% efficient. Let's pretend you're 90% efficient. Okay. An 850-watt power supply that's 90% efficient can actually pull 935 watts from the wall. It provides 850 watts internally to your computer. Yep. It will overdraw from the wall to deal with its inefficiencies. What this means is that if he's pulling 700 watts from the wall, he's got 235 watts of margin. Uh-huh. Now he's pulling a lot, but it's fine. So if you're trying to figure out what you need, the, the power wattage ratings are for your internal components, but your power supply... So if, let's say for the sake of discussion, you're getting a new RTX um, 3080. 3080, and it needs 250 watts. Mm -hmm. And you're running a Ryzen 9 3900X that needs 150 watts at full bore everything. Mm -hmm. So what is 250 plus 150? 400. Okay. SSD, some RAM, motherboard, RGB lights, a few other nonsense items. The video card might actually pull more than 250, but mm -hmm. your CPU is likely not pulling 150. Right. You're either doing CPU intensive loads or GPU intensive loads, but rarely are they both full bore load. Correct. If he's pulling 700 watts from the wall, he's... Is he mining? He might. He might have two video cards. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Let me put it this way. Um, my HEDT system can do that. But only if I have everything loaded to the kilt. The Threadripper upstairs can do that. None of the consumer systems I have will do that. The i9-10980XE at full load can pull up to 250 watts. If the video card's pulling... Yeah, but if it's at full load, your video card's probably not. But even if it is... 250 and 350. You know, an i9-10900K at full bore and a 3080 at full bore? If he's pulling 700 from the wall, that he must have that because I'd pull about 600 watts internally, which is why an 850 is fine. But you will rarely, rarely, rarely do that. That's a that's an odd load. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I don't recommend 850 watt power supplies for an i9 and an RTX 3080 because you need that much power. I recommend it to put your power draw in the middle of the power band to make them efficient and make them quiet and make them last forever. 